Hi and welcome to video number 13 about how to write a chess program in Go. I did some unit tests since the last time but we can skip that. Um, we have it to do here about last one so let's do that. I have waiting, waited too long with that. We can copy first one and last one will search from 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 h8 and first one search from a1 so let's go that one cannot be trailing zero it must be leading something leading zeros 64 like that, and bit 64 is OK. And the shift must be opposite direction. Yes, both of them, I think. So this one, and this one opposite. And then we have return bit must be 63 minus bit. Yes. And let's remove this one. Perfect. <laughs> I had to take a break, but I'm back again alive. We have a choice here about the structure in the program. Should we have a genmove.go? Or maybe we could rename this move.go to moves.go and put move generation stuff in there. But on the other hand, all these move generation uh, should maybe be methods to board. Okay. Let's see what we have to do now. Let's move this to do up here. Go through, I think, generate runs with simple method. What do we have to do here? First of all, generate rook moves with the simple method and explain magic numbers or bit boards. It's the same thing. Um, we can next time we will the next thing we will do is to create tables and methods in order to use magic numbers to do um, and then we will generate rook moves with magic bit boards or numbers um, create a non uci Command PM print all moves print PM. Yeah, we put that up here <coughs> and we can do some at least prepare for benchmarking. Okay, so this is what we will do. Generate simple rook, uh, simple method rook moves. We will do now. Create, it's a non-UCI command. In next video, I think, I will explain magic numbers. What is it? How does it work? Create tables and methods so we can use magic number. And then we will generate rook moves with the magic bitboards instead. We remove this one. I think we call this all rook bb. Yes. P12 is the rook with the color that we want. And EP is unsigned int board EP. EP. Board. And castling is unsigned int board castling. I do this to make unsigned int of everything. 
we go through all the rook pick board first one we take one at a time until we get 64 and we continue to take the next one and we work with ranks and files so rank is from divided by 8 and file is uh, from modulo 8 yeah and we go north south east west and north is moving the rank upwards so plus one until eight two is plus rank times eight plus five capture is what we find on this square and if it's a capture we need to stop looping if cp is not empty let's break if it's empty okay we can pack move we need to pack the move to an internal format so we put in all the different things we need we need to save some things here in order to... I have a problem with P. We need to save pack things in the move in order to be able to unmove. So that's why we need to save the causal state and the en passant state. Okay, we will add, add that pack move to uh, move list. I think we need to do like this. If it's our own piece, we stop. So if piece color is uh, side to move, it's not P, it's P12 color. Then we break and otherwise we break if it's after the capture okay we copy into south it's just we go backwards with the ranks minus minus okay all directions are finished we need the move list as a parameter and the side to move instead of uh, board STM so we have something wrong so and we uh, we have the variable MV as a move is a move type um, and we have no pack move we need to make the pack move So we put it in move dot go and pack move is a method to move. We can copy what we need from Yen Rook. We have the from to and piece and prom and on song. They are all unsigned in. And then we have castle that is costlings and here we need to think about how to pack all these from two and so on and how many bits do we need and one square is six bits one piece is four bits so six bits from six bits uh, six bits for two square and four bits for the piece and four bits for the captured piece and four bits for prom square <laughs> 
should be prom. And six bits for the en passant square and cross sling, I mean, they take four bits. So, and then we have a number of bits left for value that we don't need just now. And prom is four bits is correct because it's not a square, it's a piece, of course. Okay, before I forget, let's go back here and change all these board site to move to SD instead. So and that's all. What's wrong? Okay, we need to side is a color. Castle is not unsigned in, it's cross links. Okay. Back to pack move. Uh, M, the move. M is put in from first or with two and we shift two uh, we shift it by two shift and continue like this so p12 the piece we shift p12 shift and we can go on like this yeah it should be like that Okay, and we have prom shift, then we have EP and EP shift, then we have castle and castle shift. And we need to define some shift constants. Um, we have this two shift, and that should be the size of from because we want to shift beyond from and that is um, p shift must be the size of two and we have capture shift from shift and ep shift the size of from square, from, from piece, and canceling shift the size of en passant square. It must be the type move. And what? Okay. And this is not really true. We need the piece shift plus what's above and CP shift plus all the things above. So it must be shift beyond all the one we had before and console shift shift all the one above. Let's format that and it looks good. I think this is all for today, really. I check all the to dos here in the rook moves. Okay, so the PM command I will do as a homework and also prepare for benchmarking. Until next time, have a good one.